Hey guys, it's uh, Nagahide Windpipe from Agony Gaming. Today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the uh, Dual Pistol Elixir build for your Engineer. The Dual Pistol Elixir build maximizes your PvE damage capabilities for high DPS through an awesome mix of conditions provided by the Dual Pistol skills and the Elixir buffs uh, for burst DPS. There's even a little support built in uh, for group and dungeon situations. First we'll look at the, the trait line allocations. Starting from the top left, we spent uh, 10 poison explosives. Uh, that increases power by 100 and increases condition duration by 10%. At the 5 point spot, we have Evasive Powder Keg, which creates bomb when you dodge. Then at the 10 point spot, um, we've chosen Incendiary Powder for 33% chance to cause burning for 2 seconds on a critical hit. Uh, for having so few points in the trait line, uh, this one's pretty important to this build. This combined with the Explosive Shot skill and the Coated Bullets trait have the ability to make a ton of three-digit numbers fly off large groups of mobs. Explosive Shot explodes on impact and causes bleeding. The explosion affects uh, mobs surrounding your target. Coated Bullets pierces targets in a straight line. Each time your initial shot passes through a mob from Coated Bullets, it explodes from Explosive Shot. So, if you have three mobs hit and pierced from your initial explosive shot, there's a 33% chance on each of those shots for two second burn, and each of those times it strikes, you get the explosive effect. Uh, that's your auto attack, an instant, no cooldown, target based AoE shot with two condition damage effects. Sounds pretty badass, right? It is. The only limiting factor on the double duration is the, the burning condition damage can only trigger once every three seconds. Uh, with other traits and skills from this build, and with proper armor, there's no, notable, no noticeable downtime. Uh, we've taken a full 30 points in firearms. That automatically increases precision by 300 and increases condition damage by 300. The 5, 15, and 25 point traits give us a uh, sharpshooter, which is a 30% uh, chance to cause bleeding for 3 seconds on crits. Target the weak, which is 10% increased critical hit chance against foes with less than 50% health, and target the maimed, which is 5% increased damage against bleeding foes. I differ from the cookie cutter version on this slightly, where the build calls for Roman numerals 4, 6, and 12. I normally use 6, 7, and 12, and here's why. 4 improves the range of your pistols, which I really don't seem to have a problem with in fights normally, except things like uh, the second half of Jormag, where the range seems to be just out of that of the, the pistols. I have to stand in the dead zone to hit. 7 is an increase to your burn duration by 20%. This helps to negate that 1 second of downtime between your unbuffed 2 second burn and the 3 second limiter. Until I'm running 5 of 6 nightmare runes, I'll forego the extra range for the most part. As for the other Roman numeral traits, 6 is 20% faster pistol skills recharge. 12 is coated bullets, which we've discussed already. It causes pistol shots to go through targets into the mobs directly behind it and in line with the initial target. The final trait line we've taken is alchemy. And again, we've taken all 30 points, which increases vitality by 300 and boon duration by 30%. The 5, 15, and 25 point traits give us hidden flask to automatically drink an elixir B at 75% health. Uh, transmute, which gives us an 8% chance to change incoming conditions to boons, and energy conversion matrix, which deals 1% extra damage for each boon on us. This line is obviously where the support and survivability are. The traits themselves don't impact your DPS output, but the buffs they give your elixirs do. The Roman numerals used here are two fast acting elixirs, uh, recharge the elixirs 20% faster, eight potent elixirs, increase the duration of your elixirs by 20%, and 11 HGH, which gives all elixirs 20 seconds of might. The main actions, the 1 through 5 actions on this build, are Explosive Shot, which is uh, your auto shot, fire shot that explodes on impact, bleeding nearby foes. Number 2 is Poison Dart Volley, which is a fire of volley of darts that poison foes. So it's got a uh, poison duration effect on it. Number 3 is Static Shot, which is discharge a lightning shot that bounces between multiple foes, blinding and confusing them. So there's a three and a quarter second blind and a three and a quarter seconds of confusion on that shot. Number four is Blowtorch, which has a uh, burn effect at 200 yards for two and a quarter seconds, it's 3,000 damage. And then at 600 yards for two and a quarter seconds, it's 1,000 damage. 
Number five is Blue Shock, which is a ground effect. Uh, cripple. It reduces movement speed by 50%. Let's go through the six through ten skills on our action bar. First I use Elixir H, which heals yourself and gains protection, regen, or swiftness randomly. Then I use Elixir B, gain fury, might, retaliation, and swiftness. Uh, Elixir U, gain quickness and random skill from another profession. Elixir C, converts all conditions to random boons. And I use Supply Crate, uh, which has a flamethrower turret, heal turret, and a net gun turret and some bandages. It also stuns when dropped for a couple of seconds of control. As for the function key skills, they all complement the pistol skills very well and allow for some support. On F1, we have Toss Elixir H, which randomly uh, grants protection, swiftness, or regen to allies in the targeted area. Uh, Toss Elixir B, which grants fury, might, retaliation, or swiftness to allies in the targeted area. Toss Elixir U, which causes a random spell wall that you and your party can fire through for extra conditions and damage. And Toss Elixir C, which converts one condition to a random boon in the target area. Alright, well, that's all I've got for you right now. Tonight's music was Length and Wrecked Cinecide by Halogen. If you'd like any more information, stop at agonygaming.net and have a good one.